Hello and welcome back to another episode of Teaching Partner. Today we are going to explore the concept of pedagogy and dive into five major pedagogical approaches and I would like to share real life examples to illustrate each one. So pedagogy refers to the art and science of teaching. It encompasses the strategies, techniques and methods that educators use to facilitate learning. Pedagogy is not just about imparting knowledge, it's about creating an environment where students can engage with the material and develop a deeper understanding of the subject matter. So let's discuss five major pedagogical approaches. Number one, constructivist approach. The constructivist approach is based on the idea that learners construct their own understanding and knowledge of the world through experiencing things and reflecting on those experiences. When teachers implement a constructive approach, they encourage students to use active techniques to create more knowledge and then to reflect on and talk about what they are doing and how their understanding is changing. For example, a science teacher might ask his students to design their own experiments to understand the principle of physics. Students are actively involved in their learning as they hypothesize experiment and then discuss their findings. Number 2. Collaborative Approach Collaborative learning is an educational approach involving groups of learners working together to solve a problem, complete a task or create a product. This approach is founded on the idea that learning is a naturally social act in which the participants talk among themselves. For example, in a language class, students might work in groups to write and perform a play in the language they are learning. This not only helps them practice the language but also teaches teamwork and problem solving. Number 3. Integrative Approach The integrative approach involves creating a learning environment that helps students make connections across the curriculum, integrating knowledge from different disciplines. This approach can help students see the bigger picture and understand how different areas of knowledge intersect. For example, a project that requires students to calculate the cost of materials for a school event can integrate math, economics and practical life skills. Number 4. Reflective Approach In the reflective approach, students are encouraged to think about their own learning process and to evaluate their own progress. This can help them become more aware of their learning styles and strategies and make adjustments to improve their understanding. For example, after completing a writing assignment, students might be asked to write a reflection on their strategies they used, what they found challenging and what they could do differently next time. Finally, inquiry-based learning. Inquiry-based learning is a dynamic and student-centered approach to education that is rooted in asking questions, problem solving and exploratory learning. Teachers guide the process but the students are at the center of the learning, actively involved in exploring the material. For example, in the history class, rather than simply lecturing about historical events, a teacher might present students with a historical problem and ask them to research and present their findings on possible causes and effects. In conclusion, pedagogy is a critical component of effective teaching and learning. By understanding and applying these approaches, teachers can create a rich learning environment that encourages students to engage deeply with the material and develop a lifelong love of learning. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this video is very useful for you. So thank you very much. If you have any question, query or you need any support for making a decision, don't hesitate to write an email to the teaching partner at gmail.com. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Goodbye.